Hello everyone, this is Josh Vision, and I'm here to give you my Season 2, Episode 1 review of Lost in Space. So, in this episode, the main goal of the family, well, mainly Maureen, is for everyone to head back on track towards um, the Alpha Centauri, which is where the 24th Colony was originally intended on going before the Robsons got cut off from them. So, for the past seven months, they've been living in this barely functioning habitat essentially and despite the fact that the family as a whole their relationships have gotten stronger Maureen wants her family and rightfully so to actually be with other people and for her children to actually live like lives and not be stuck in this barely livable situation but her husband really he as we know from season one he's not really all about risk-taking essentially and he's like, well, it's very risky, and we could possibly, something bad could happen. But eventually, when the oxygen is constantly breached, like over and over again in this episode, he finally relents and actually lets Marine take control of the whole situation and give her ideas on how to charge up the Jupiter so they can get back on course to join the other, co the 24th Colony, and head towards Alpha Centauri. So, while this is happening, Dr. Smith wants to be useful and this is especially um, clear once the ship's is like basically trapped in a storm and the ship like finds himself repeatedly getting um, running into these big ass wheat um, reeves essentially. And at one point in this episode, we had John and Will being injured because Will almost falls out the ship. So that basically leaves both John and Will basically in the medical unit of the ship. And leaving Maureen and the others, and Don included, very little option but to use Dr. Smith, you know, to help. So, I believe at one point, Dr. Smith actually could have stabbed or killed Maureen. Because Maureen gets caught on something at the top of the ship. But she chose against it. And also, Dr. Smith does a really good job of basically um, directing and dictating everything. Making sure um, the family doesn't hit any more Reeves. You know that that they find a way on how to basically um launch, like they they did something with the sails essentially that actually made the ship go faster, which actually benefited them. So I believe the episode ended with them realizing that they were actually heading towards like a some type of waterfall, but there was something below, and I forgot what it was, but it seemed to be of great importance. Um, so yeah, I believe that's all that happened, all the main things that happened in this episode. If I miss anything, please write write it down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching my quick little review of no, <laughs> Lost in Space. And yeah, thank you guys very much. I'll give this up to like eh, about a 7.5 out of 10. And I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the season. Adios.